Fish kills happen in southeast Texas. That's part of the circle of life, according to state officials. In this case, the shad found themselves with not enough oxygen. Yesterday it was a little bit stronger. Uh, if the fish keep popping up, it'll get really, really bad. Right now, this mess at the Houston Yacht Club seems straightforward. There's been other reported cases in our area. Same scenario, stagnant water and hot temperatures are to blame. Every now and then you do see these kind of fish kills, especially on shad. The shad will get trapped in areas where water is stagnant. Lack of oxygen, they're susceptible to that because they're on top of the water and you see a little bit of a die off. David Dillman is the manager at Eagle Point Fishing Camp in San Leon and a fishing guide. He says the dead fish you see here, they're a minuscule amount compared to what he's seen out in the bay. We've had an incredible hatch of shad this year and I'm talking tonnage of them in every bay system. Dillman says just look at his hauls from over the weekend. He says Galveston Bay is swimming with big fish. Water conditions are good, salinity is good, 20 parts per million. The water temperature is about 82 degrees and everything is perfect. Dillman says don't let fish kills like this discourage you. It's time to actually go fishing just farther out in the water. As good as it can get. When you can sit down and make one anchor and catch 25, 30 speckled trout in about two hours, you can't ask for anything better than that. Steve Campion, 13 Eyewitness News.